Hey IG Garage family, ever noticed your car's temperature gauge acting strange on a hot day? Maybe it's running higher than usual or giving you inconsistent readings? You check your OBD2 scanner and see error code P0073 staring at you. Sounds tricky, right? Well, don't worry. In today's video, we're going to break down what this code means, where to find the issue, and how to get it fixed so you don't have to stress on those hot days. Let's dive in. So what does P0073 mean? This code stands for Ambient Air Temperature Sensor Circuit High. Essentially, your car's engine control module, ECM, isn't receiving accurate information from the ambient air temperature sensor, which it uses to adjust the engine's air fuel mixture and monitor outside temperatures. This sensor is crucial in ensuring your car operates efficiently, especially when it's dealing with temperature extremes. Now here's the important part. Where is the sensor located? The ambient air temperature sensor is usually located in the front of the vehicle, behind the grille or in the bumper area. It's placed here to accurately measure the outside air temperature. This tiny sensor right here is responsible for sending outside temperature readings to your car's computer. If it's damaged or its wiring is faulty, you'll get the P0073 code, leading to inaccurate temperature readings and even affecting your engine's performance. The most common causes for the P0073 code include a faulty ambient air temperature sensor damaged wiring, or even issues with the ECM itself. You might notice fluctuating temperature readings on your dashboard, poor fuel efficiency, or rough idling. To fix this, first inspect the sensor and its wiring for any visible damage or disconnections. In some cases, the sensor can just be dirty and need cleaning. If you find that the sensor is faulty, replacing it is a simple job. Once you've cleaned or replaced the sensor, clear the P0073 code with your OBD2 scanner and then take your car for a spin to make sure the problem is gone and your temperature readings are back to normal. And that's how you fix the P0073 code, folks. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to IG Garage for more car repair tips. And before you head out, check out these two related videos. First, watch our video on P0068, where we explain issues with manifold pressure and throttle position sensors, and be sure to catch our P0046 video on turbocharger boost control problems. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.